Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is pie chart. How can we construct pie chart using SPSS? Consider few questions from the exercise in which pie chart is required. Draw a pie chart of this data in which items are given in the first column and expenditures are given in the next column. So using these two columns, we have to construct pie chart. One variable uh, which is required in the pie chart should be nominal and other one is numerical of quantitative type. Second part of this same question, graph of the following data shows the area in millions of square miles uh, in which uh, oceans are given, ocean, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Antarctic, and Arctic, along with the area of the ocean. So first variable oceans is a nominal type and area is of uh, numeric type in which the area of the uh, ocean is given. The next question, the area shown in Rabi crop is as follows. So first column is the crop name in which wheat, gram, barley, pulses, fodder and other crops along with the area of each crop 106 and so on. So consider this question to make the pie chart using SPSS. So we uh, will open SPSS file and uh, come to the variable view. We have to make uh, two variables here. First one is the Rabi crop. So we will use the abbreviation here, CROP crop. And the type is, it should be of string type. And then, okay. Size uh, can be increased. We will take size of 15. Definitely string variable is uh, of uh, nominal type. You don't have to make it uh, nominal. It will automatically convert into the nominal scale. And uh, label would be Rabi crop. In variable is the area. So we will take here A of the numeric type. If we will uh, look at the second column of this, uh, of this question, all values are in, in the integer form. So no need to mention the value in the decimal form. So it would be zero. And the label is area in leg acre. Now come to the data view and enter the data. First crop is wheat. Gram. First, I enter the data and then meet to you again. Now we have entered the data into the two columns. Next, uh, first step is graph, chart builder. Then one more window will be open. Come to the bottom left corner in which different uh, forms of the graphs are given. We will choose our required graph, which is the pie chart. So click on the pie chart. There is only one option of the pie chart. It's 2D a pie chart. So click on this. Whenever you drag it or click it, it will be chosen. So click on this graph. We have two variables on the top left corner. Rabi crop, which is of nominal type, and area, which is of the uh, numeric type. So, Rabi crop will be on x axis. So, we'll drag it, and area is taken along the x axis in the column counts. Now, click on OK. Output window will be open. And we can see there are 
few sectors. Each of them is representing the uh, crop type. As we have uh, uh, labeled the variable, therefore it is properly uh, labeled here. The legends are written uh, in the key and the title is here. We can double click this to open this pie chart into the chart editor. This is our chart editor, which is used to edit the chart. We have seen so many icons here. Some of them are blue, which are active for the pie chart, and some are gray, which are not available for this chart. Which options is clearly available hongi and which nahi available hongi jo available hai that are mentioned in blue. For example, source code, for example, the text box within a, uh, any um, sector, any uh, um, part of this graph. This is the title of uh, the pie chart. You can label it. So I'm clicking on this icon. You can see uh, all values are mentioned in the percentage form within each sector. And one more window is uh, uh, on the right corner. So uh, you can see the percentage here. So every value which is in the sector is in the percentage form. But if you uh, want to show it in the original data and some will come here and the percentage you cross it. So apply by applying this, you can see the original numeric values which are given in the column are now here in the sectors. And you can mention both of them. And uh, for example, this one. Okay, now apply. Both the percentages and the numbers are given in the sector. But if you want to show the labels within the sector, you can choose Rabi Crop here and apply. But whenever you are going to mention this one, you can see the box will be increased. And now there is no need to mention the legend here, but it's up to you. By default, all these uh, scare values are mentioned within the sector in the center of the sector. But if you want to uh, choose the position yourself, manual, so you can apply it. You can drag any of these lab labels within the sectors according to your own choice, but automatically it will be in the center of each sector. This is the value labels. Now you can see the variables. It's a pie chart, fill and border. You can change the uh, color of any single sector. For example, this green one is not of your choice. So click on this uh, key and wheat. So only wheat will be selected. You can see a yellow uh, rectangle, uh, yellow line around the wheat color and a yellow line around the same sector, this one. So it shows that this color is now selected you can change this color now for example i am choosing the blue one and apply you can see the change in the graph so you can change the color the categories all categories are in this order you can change the order of your own choice for example you want to see other crops in the end so here so uh, barley along with the folder and then gram apply. You can see now the change other crops is in the bottom. And if, if you want to see the wheat in the top, you can drag it up and apply. Now you can see wheat is in the top and other crops are in the bottom. So chart size, you can choose the size of chart according to your uh, requirement. Angles, by default, its effect is flat. 
But if you want to see in the 3D form, just click on this and apply. Now the pie chart would be shown in the 3D form, this one. And um, clockwise, if you want to see the sectors in clockwise, for example, wheat and then barley and then fodder from right side to left side. So this would be clockwise. Counterclockwise shows that wheat would be here and in the bottom of wheat, barley. Next is fodder. Next is gram, pulses and so on. So this is the counterclockwise direction. So uh, in these uh, variables which are shown in the legend are now in the counterclockwise direction. Normally we are choosing the clockwise order because uh, we are used to this um, setting. And now we are going to make it flat again and counterclockwise for example and apply. Now you can see wheat is here, then barley, then fodder, then gram. So now the direction is counterclockwise. This uh, is the options related to the labels. We can close the properties by clicking on this cross or clicking here on the close. Now we are uh, available so many other options in the chart editor, for example, AB. By clicking on this, you can hide the legends because we have mentioned the names within each sector. So no need to uh, show the key here. This is the source code. You can mention the footnote here. In the bottom of the pie chart, you can write anything here related to this pie chart. And you can save this file here, this save. Or you can just close it. If you uh, close this chart editor, all changes which you have made in this pie chart is now in your output, this one. You can click here. Just copy or copy as, it's up to you. Copy as, image, and paste anywhere in your Word file. Open a Word file here, a blank page, and then paste your pie chart. This is your now. Uh, pie chart which is uh, used in your research. Thank you so much for watching this video. Allah Hafiz.